Hey everybody, it's Randy with Carchaeology, and I wanted to give you guys an update on the Brubaker Box Project. A variety of projects going on with the box. Uh, one is uh, that Ben made these really cool little insert pieces here for the grill openings for both front and back. And so we we're gluing these things in place, letting it dry. Let me see if I can tip this up so you can see what it looks like from the other side. Uh, kind of hard to see here with the light coming through it, but they've got a real nice silver look to them, similar to this right there. Definitely dresses up that area and makes it look really good. Uh, the engine here, I'm going to spend some time detailing this before I put the back bumper on. This is an 1835cc engine that I got from a good friend down in the desert. Uh, this was something that was out of a street car that he had, or actually one of his neighbors had. Uh, it's got a two-barrel Weber carb on it, which is pretty slick. Uh, we've got some cool uh, uh, bug pack, finned aluminum valve covers. Uh, the exhaust here has cleaned up quite a bit. And I'm going to go through and really detail this thing out so it looks as nice as possible, even though you're not really going to see a whole heck of a lot of it once that bumper is in place. The other area I've been doing a lot of work is on the interior of the car. So right now I'm just kind of playing around with laying carpet in here. I've got this green shag that has the perfect nap, definitely very vintage feeling with the long spun strings and everything. I think that's gonna look fantastic in there. I've gotta cut that to get that into place. I've got some vintage audio equipment that I'm putting in there, these really killer speaker grills, 20 ounce coaxial speakers. Uh, those are gonna mount here in the quarters or in the, uh, in the post there. I've gotta do the other side. I've got a Krako 8-track uh, player here with the Jimmy Walker Dynamite 8-track in there. We've got the uh, barefoot gas pedal going in. There's a wood shift knob here. I'm going to be detailing that up, dialing it in, uh, refinish that wood, probably do some other wood things as well. I uh, have the Soylent Industries uh, keychain here from the movie Soylent Green, where they used a Brubaker box in that film. Uh, this is a period MP steering wheel. You can see it's got the big padded horn button there, and uh, that's a rare piece, and that actually came with the car, along with this full complement of MP gauges. So these all have the MP logos on them, the tack, and then the trio of gauges here, as well as the Volkswagen Speedo and gas gauge. So I still need to find some good period speakers to fill those holes in the dash. I've uh, kind of refinished the top of the dash here. Not super happy with it. I might end up doing something a little bit better. But what I have done in here that I think is pretty slick is I have taken the compartment here, the storage locker, and turned it into a cooler. So this is fake ice, just plastic, but it gives the look. I'll put some good uh, period drinks in there, maybe some uh, old Coors cans or something like that to give it a little bit of a fun look inside there. Um, but it's going to come together. So another thing that's going on right now is we removed the rear seat bucket. And I've got that at an upholstery shop right now that's being redone in the original brown crushed velvet that was in there. And then we're going to create the pad and backrest here to make that full wraparound seating setup. And then we're going to end up doing the front seats as well. Going to do the same crushed velvet on the seating surface here do a uh, matching brown vinyl on the outside. It's gonna be stitched in a diamond pattern, just like the back in there. And then we're gonna do some stuff with the headliner and side panels in here as well. There's still some more to do there, but we're starting right now with getting that rear bench redone. I'm dying to get thing, that thing back here, get it in place and see how swanky it's gonna look on the inside. So anyway, that's some basic progress on what's going on with the box. It's uh, been a fun project so far, a lot more to do, and it's going to be great to bring this thing out to some events later on this summer. Uh, let's see, other things we've got to do is get the glass back in it. I've been cleaning up the original glass, trying to get it seated in there, get it so everything slides open and closes fine. I've got this piece here all cleaned up, ready to go back in. The other side is missing, so I'm going to use this as a pattern probably end up doing it in plexi because I can't figure out where the heck that original glass came from. Unless there's some Brubaker box nut out there that happens to have a passenger side front glass, then I'm just going to have to fake it till I make it. Uh, let's see. Other thing to do here is 
the moonroof. So this I'm going to do in plexi, probably a smoked plexiglass, and that will get put in there. Um, this is the glass here for that uh, side piece. Um, and let's see, that's about it. The other thing that I did recently here was paint the rockers and all the little cutout spots in black. Uh, I think that really makes the body stand out. The overall lines of it makes it a, little, a lot longer, a lot lower, uh, and definitely a lot cleaner because those lower pieces did have a little overspray and they weren't quite finished all the way down underneath. So that ends up having a really nice clean look to it. And that's very much in design with the way that it was when these were originally built. If you look at the cover of Car and Driver here, you can see the pink color there and you can see that black along the bottom. So anyway, Brewbaker Box coming together. Please subscribe and follow along and watch this mighty green crazy 70s icon get back on the road. Bye-bye.